Now, I don't usually record videos at night, but tonight I'm making an exception. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well and yes, I am excited because tonight I am going to be watching Life After the Never Ending Story. Yeah, this is a documentary all about Never Ending Story. As you saw my video the other day where I went to see Never Ending Story at the cinema for its 40th anniversary, I thought what perfect opportunity then to watch the documentary all about Never Ending Story, which come out this year, I believe, on Blu-ray. Um, the Blu-ray is quite expensive. The Blu-ray is about 35 quid for like the special edition and that. But I did look on Amazon the other day. It's currently, you can rent it or buy it off Amazon um, to, uh, to stream. So that's what I'm doing tonight so i am finally getting round to watching this documentary now i am really really excited i've got high expectations of the documentary i have watched trailers for it already um i would love to get it on blu-ray but at the moment guys i am going to watch it on streaming and uh, yeah see what i think about it so um, i'm going to go downstairs guys i'm going to get loaded up on the big screen you're going to be seeing some of my reactions during this documentary as well um and yeah we're going to have a really really good time and it's going to be another never-ending story so uh, yeah i'll see you when i get downstairs i'll get loaded up on the tv i'll get myself comfy i've got me a drink already got me a tango orange and uh, yeah we'll go and watch this documentary good times okay so we have got live after never any story loaded up on prime so yeah i have purchased this one because i really really want to see it it's a documentary from 2024 it's under 91 minutes and uh, yeah it is directed by lisa downs who i believe is a good friend of my good friend jamie powell Right, so before I press play on Live After the Never Ending Story, I just want to give you my thoughts, what I think of before I actually sit and watch the film, from what I saw in the trailer. I think this is going to be a really in-depth, informative documentary with loads of archive footage, loads of brand new interviews with some of the main people involved in Never Ending Story as well. I believe there's an interview with Lamar as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be absolutely buzzing with stuff. So yeah, I am super excited. I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to go and press play because I can't hold my excitement anymore for this documentary. So uh, yeah, let's watch it live after the never ending story. Stay tuned right to the end guys and I will tell you exactly what I thought. I will be doing a little bit of a review uh, with my thoughts on. So stay tuned for that. But until then, lights, camera, action and let's watch life after the never-ending story <laughs> Wow. So we're going to take a look around the Bavaria studios where it was all filmed. It was made of latex. And latex doesn't last for 40 years. We renew that for every So Tammy hasn't been back to uh, Munich for 40 years. He's not anymore in the record company. He's looking for. The mirror of your dreams. I never got tired of talking about it. The soul was number one everywhere. What a thrill for a boy from Wigan 
never ending story. <laughs> I do know that most of the soundtrack was done by a German guy, Klaus. Yeah. Klaus Doldinger, that's right. Klaus Doldinger has done a beautiful music for that board. Your next movie, like, why did you walk away? Why didn't you give us more? When we saw that Spotify campaign with Bob Burke, like, painted on a building near our house. I hardly remember the Spotify commercial. I can't believe after all these years, people are still <laughs> listening to this song. I could have barely walked. Like, it took three people to help me get up onto the Falcor. I wasn't crazy about the spot. I thought they should have kept the tattoos on, and that's what they wanted. I would have done it differently. We started talking on that walk. I said, you know, obviously, you've been happy to kind of be under the radar here. I broke my side 14 years. Just lost it two weeks ago. And I just lost my mom last week. That was much harder. We celebrated our 100 years Bavaria four years ago, and Wolfgang was our special guest. We even dedicated stage nine, that's the stage he shot the uh, enemy mine, to him. So I think we're very proud of him. He will be remembered as being one of the most influential directors in German cinema, and I just hope that people will never forget Wolfgang Petersen for the incredible work that he's done and for directing my favorite childhood movie of all time. Losing Wolfgang Peterson and his filmmaking is such a blow. Growing up with never-ending story and uh, outbreak in a perfect storm. I mean, if the way it was filmed, the uh, impact that it has on you, well, it's a big... Okay, so we just got to the end credits of Life After the Never Ending Story. And look whose name is in the credits. Right there. Our good friend, my good friend, Mr. Jamie Powell. There's his name right in the credits. Let's get closer. Whew. Okay, so it is now midnight and I've just finished watching Life After the Never Ending Story. Now, this originally was going to be called Life After a Treyu. But it got changed. I have no idea why it got changed. But yeah, life after the never any story. So what did I think of it? So I'm going to give a little bit of a review on my thoughts on this documentary. Um, this document documentary ran for 93 minutes. And it didn't feel like 93 minutes at all. I put it on and that time just flew by. I was that engrossed into the story. Obviously I'm going to love it because it's never ending story. But there were so many interesting facts that come out of this come out of this documentary that I didn't know about. I'm not going to give too many away in case you do want to watch this documentary. I don't want to spoil it for you. But uh, yeah, I will give you one. Alan Oppenheimer, I didn't realise, did the voice of four characters in Never Ending Story. He did the voice of Falcor. He also did the voice of Gamork. He also did the voice of... Other than Falcor, did I say Falcor? Falcor, Gamork, Rockbiter, and he also did the narration right at the end of the film when he goes, That's time for another story. Yeah, that was Alan Hopenheimer. So, yes, that is very impressive that I found that out. And uh, yeah, so this, sto this documentary, I keep saying story, I've got a story on the mind, but this documentary went into the in depth story of the making of the film of what went on behind the scenes and there is so i'm not gonna like butter this up or anything there was some upsetting things that happened behind the scenes in this film as well with noah hathaway um we get a lot of footage from comic cons that they appeared in uh tammy and um noah so yeah they um they got some footage of them appearing at comic cons and uh yeah a lot of behind the scenes uh, stills as well was used in this film um, and loads of interviews with um, people associated with Never Any Story you had some interviews with Lamar you had a few interviews with Deep Roy you had like interviews with Nova and Tammy um, so basically the first half of the film goes into detail of what happened uh, in the making of the film um, 
obviously Michael and you probably know this already, but Michael and hated the idea of Wolfgang Peterson film. They just really didn't get on at all. Um because that obviously that's not what he inflicted the book to be like. Um but yeah, um so the first half of the film goes into the making of and the second half goes into what happened basically what the title says what happened after never ending story how did their lives change some of the actors obviously barrett oliver he's not no longer in films anymore and he, he didn't want to partake in this documentary even though obviously lisa um messaged him uh contacted him to be part but he's moved on moved on with another career but uh yeah um, there was a few upsetting moments in here as well. Obviously, you probably know Noah Hathaway um, basically got injured by a horse in the making of the film. He, uh, yeah, the horse basically done, went wild and backflipped on him. Uh, he ended up breaking his uh, back, uh, which left him wheel in a wheelchair. Um, we got an interview with the guy who was Noah's. Um, Stunt double. Sorry, I'm finding it hard to think. Oh, it's quite late. Uh, yet yeah, Noah's stunt double in the film as well. But uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I've got to get this documentary, definitely. And uh, whose name did we see at the end of the credits? Of course, my dear friend Jamie, right at the end. Um, so I remember when this film, when I was waiting for this film to... Um, to come out and I kept I kept messaging Jamie I was like have you heard anything have you heard anything then he sent me a message saying the trailer had been released and I was what I watched the trailer and it was like oh, wow hurry up and bring this film out and like I say this week I found out it's actually on Prime to, to buy so that's what I did I thought I'd buy it on Prime um, and hopefully I'll pick up the Blu-ray uh, set as well because I, I absolutely love the documentary. Lisa done such a great job on this documentary as well. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to check the other documentaries that she's done out now. The Navigator one and the Flash Gordon one. I'm going to have to check those ones out now because if it's anything like Life After the Never Ending Story, I'm in for a treat. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I can't praise this film up enough, this documentary up enough. Because it is it it just doesn't never any story justice in my opinion, and uh, yeah that that's just my little thoughts. on you might watch a documentary and think you know what I didn't learn anything from this, um, but I will leave another little uh, nugget out of never any story. Okay, so you know the scene where. Uh, the bullies at the beginning with the bullies are chasing Bastion and they knock over a guy. Um, as I'm running through the knockoff, the guy who's got a coffee in his hand, that was actually Wolfgang Peterson, and I never even knew this. So yeah, there you go. That was Wolfgang Peterson in that shot. So when you rewatch Never Any Story back again, and you see that there he is, the director made a cameo in Never Any Story. <laughs> but guys, I will leave it there. Uh, I can't stop smiling actually. Um, yeah, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, yes, uh, let me know down below in the comments if you plan on watching this documentary. I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, like I say, it's on Amazon. Pro, uh, Amazon, You can purchase it off Amazon. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend it. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, please share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I better get to bed because it is quite late now. So uh, yeah, see you later guys. Do you want me to sing? No. Alright, see you later. Bye.